This is the Cory Catfish. This bottom dweller is quite common. It can be found all across the world's lakes and it comes in a wide variety of shapes and colors. There are the spotted cory, the albino cory, long fin cory, tiny cory, cory that grow rather large in size, and all these variations make the cory catfish one of the most popular fish in the hobby. Whether you're planning on getting some or already pick some up, let's go over some of the general care and info in regards to keeping the cory catfish. Not only are there plenty of shapes and sizes to choose from when it comes to the cory catfish, there are a couple of really positive characteristics. For one, they have a calm, docile personality, meaning they'll get along with most other fish. They also remain a manageable size, with most cory catfish only getting around 2 inches. But the best thing about the cory catfish, in my humble opinion, is that they are highly active bottom dwellers. Not only are they super active, which is fun to watch, they primarily stick to the bottom of the tank. This freezes up the top levels for you to add more fish. And if you do decide to keep the cory catfish, keep in mind that they are social fish. They like to be kept in groups. A minimum of five cory catfish should be kept to keep them happy. But if you can appropriately house more, the more the merrier. And I'd personally recommend them at a gallon per cory catfish. The cory catfish is also super easy to care for. When it comes to the aquarium setup of the cory catfish, a traditional 78 degree water temperature will do just fine and a neutral pH will work just great. They are super adaptive. Just be sure to stay on top of your weekly water changes. Cory catfish are known to be a little sensitive at times to poor water quality which can be easily kept in check with proper water changes. They do best in natural aquariums of course with plants, rocks, driftwood and the works. And while they'll do just fine in any old substrate, sand substrate is the best for them, as they literally sift through it all day. They'll sift through the substrate looking for food, and this is another positive attribute of the cory catfish. They constantly lift the substrate as they sift through it, which picks up the debris, making it easier for your filter to catch it. They won't clean your aquarium for you, but this sifting definitely helps keep your tank a little bit cleaner. And again, they're sifting for food. So when it comes to feeding your quarries, I recommend a mixed diet of sinking dried foods, like pellets, granules, and wafers. You're gonna also wanna feed them frozen foods. They'll love frozen bloodworms and different types of frozen shrimps. And also be sure to include live foods. I always recommend live bloodworms or live blackworms. Quarry catfish will go absolutely crazy for them. Having kept many different types of fish, I gotta say that the cory catfish is definitely in my top 5 favorite fish. I think every aquarium with compatible fish should have them. And if you do decide to keep them, rest assured that keeping cory catfish will be a rather enjoyable experience. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or any advice you'd like to share in regards to this video, you know what to do. I'm a lot more active on Instagram, but I do respond to all messages every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday nights. With that said, my name is Gus. This is my aquarium info. As always, thanks for watching. And if you want to help my aquarium info grow, please consider becoming part of the my aquarium info community. You can pledge your support for this channel on Patreon, and of course, there are plenty of cool rewards for pledgers. Although your support in any form is welcome and appreciated. Thanks.